personal trainer. We know that that's your background. Um, mm -hmm. When you got more into the business world and, you know, entrepreneurship and you're trying to brand yourself, uh, as a guy that wants to be kind of like an influencer or somebody that, you know, can do that myself, mm -hmm. um, what was that journey like? And uh, what are some advice and some tips you can give to people that are going on that adventure? Okay, well, I kind of stumbled upon my followers, like a lot of followers, by mistake. Um, but when I realized, when I started getting more followers, I realized people just love consistency. Oh, like people God. Gen genuinely oh, God. love consistency. So no matter what you do, what you look like, what you, how you sound, anything, they love consistency because there's always a group of people who can relate to you. So the more you post, the more you just, just go at whatever you want to do in general, people will gravitate towards that because a lot of people, they need somebody to look up to, they need somebody to relate to, and it might not be somebody next door. They might, they might feel alone, but me, me going on your YouTube and seeing that you feel the same way I feel and you, you feel as passionate about, <clears throat> passionate about the Jaguars as I feel, it's like, dang, I'm not the only one I love the Jaguars. <laughs> I can go on YouTube and, and we have the same thoughts and ideas and stuff like that. And I started watching you back in probably 2016, 2017, didn't say a word. So it's like, you never know who's watching. Um, one thing is a lot of people get soaked into the likes on Instagram and stuff. And it's like, bro, like you were telling me when we were off recording or whatever, like people watch your stuff and they can relate to it, but they just keep it to themselves, which is fine. So you, Basically, you just don't, you never know who's, who feels, who, who feels you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You just never know. So it's like, just keep doing what you're doing. Um, those 10 views, those 10 likes, or whatever the case may be, those are people who feel you, you know what I'm saying? And the more, the more consistent you are, the more people come to follow you or whatever the case may be. So keep it consistent. Um, just brand yourself. Keep your brand consistent. Colors, font, slogans, logo, everything. Um, and keep everybody in the loop. It's just like real life, man. People want your consistency. Um, if, you, if you got a girl, you want, she wants you to text her consistency, consistently. Yeah. She wants you to, you know, just be yourself 100%, your genius of 100% of the time. And that's just what everybody wants. So as long as you do that and post on a regular basis, you'll be fine. You'll, um, you'll, your people will come. That's just what it is. And that, and that's something, you know, I didn't know you were going to go that route, but that's something that I can agree with a hundred percent. Like, um, like you said, when we were talking off camera before we uh, started part two of this, we were just talking about how I seen something on his Instagram story that was super motivational to me. And I, it got me through a really rough time in my life. And, you know, I didn't tell him that. And, you know, me and Chance, obviously, you know, we, we DM each other every once in a while. We're kind of, we're somewhat close. You know, we talk. But, um, you know, you never know who's watching. You never know. That's why I think it's wild, like, when I do my streams. Because, like, streams are when, like, most of your viewers come in, like, from posting consistently. I posted that six-day-a-week grind. And I was getting, like, my subscriber count was growing and growing and growing. It took me, like, a year to get to 1,000. You know, and I had some bumps in the road with, you know, health issues, you know, woman issues, won't get into that. And, uh, you know, just people that that's that's the biggest thing with when you're trying to do something you love is you got to do it consistently. I work in news, mostly social media. And, you know, if you go a day without posting anything, you're going to lose. You're going <laughs> to lose. You're going to lose, bro. You're every time gonna lose you're gonna lose because like you know people that go to where i work for their news in the local area go there to get news and if you go a day even a weekend bro this is it's like it's a seven a day a week thing it depends on how much you want it if you want this life you have to work to get it you can't just say oh I want to be an entrepreneur or, Oh, I want to do this. I want to be a YouTuber. You're not going to be able to do that. Making one video a week. You're just not going to be able to do it yeah. unless you get to the point where you have gone to six days a week. And then you got that 200, 300,000 follower base. And you can post like a podcast once a week. And even then, you know, that's people that yeah. are settling. 
even then they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna leave or they're gonna just stop tuning in. Yeah. Yeah, and there's just there's just so much truth in that in the consistency of what you do. Like chance chance of stuff is like always the first thing on my Instagram feed. And then you scroll by three pictures and then there's another thing. You know, he's he's at it, he's working, he's posting. Uh this is a guy you should follow him on Instagram too. We'll we'll plug that towards the end of the podcast. But he uh yeah, he's 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 working really hard to uh just trying to, to get, get that work. eighth batch, eighth batch, flamethrower, how we blaze tracks, straight facts. We gonna end up in that Maybach, Maybach, speed racer on that racetrack.